guys, it's Alex. What the hell have I gotten myself into? I am up at Lund Racing HQ in Media, Pennsylvania, and luckily a longtime friend, customer, and partner in the whole Lund Racing scheme of things let me borrow a GT350. But not just any GT350, because I've reviewed GT350s before, I've reviewed modded GT350s before, and I've driven Whipple supercharged GT350s before, but I have never in my life driven a twin turbo GT350 that is sporting a Helion or Helion sleeper kit. As of now, the car is running on E85, but enough talking. You don't want to hear much about me on this one. This is one of the most exotic, different sounding Mustangs I've ever been in. And before I describe what it sounds like, let's let you hear it. so I can't really get on it, but I'm gonna get on it right here on the in the exit. See if I can get to about 6,000 RPMs a little bit. Not so much in boost, because this thing is wild as fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. So why does it sound the way it sounds? It sounds like, according to Junior, two WRX engines in a car. And he's right, take a good listen. Eh. Spool 55 uh, twin precision, so it's a Helion sleeper kit or Helion, and basically the turbos are mounted underneath, and it's meant to be a sleeper, meaning you will not see the turbos in the engine bay. They're mounted under the vehicle, so it is very clean up top. It's a very clean insulation. They even have the air box look like a stock air box, but it's actually basically a charge pipe that's hidden nicely. Um, it's running on E85 right now. I believe it has ID 1050Xs. Because the GT350s have a twin uh, twin pump setup already, this car, all it needed was twin booster pumps or a Kenny Bell or a JMS style booster pump that's adjustable maybe. You can bring it up to 21 volts. Right now it's at 17 volts and it seems to be keeping up nicely because it's only at seven PSI and it made over 720 rear wheel horsepower on pump gas. We don't know what it's making right now, but it's definitely making a lot more jam because of the E85 and we were able to shove three more degrees in it. It is like a Subaru, take a listen. It's legit Subaru-esque. Now, how does the car drive? Let's bring the windows up. Let's turn the exhaust down, shut it off, and let's just go for a drive and shut my mouth for about 30 seconds. The only thing I've missed about the North Northeast is really the roads, um, very, very easy to enjoy the roads, especially in a car like this, a GT350, that handles real well. Undulating, sweeping long turns, plenty of chances to 
downshift rev match, off camber turns, cambered turns. It's very nice. It's, it's, it's intoxicating. It's, it's addicting. guys a couple of years ago that the GT350 needs another 200 or so horsepower guess what this is it and it's exactly what I thought it would be perfect you don't feel out of control when you're at wide open throttle I already did a one two three hit up to about 110 mile an hour and I'll show you that video right now down I should be wearing a mic but I understand some of you guys watch this on your cell phones at the gym it is not my job to make this thing super loud put on some earbuds and listen to it properly I could have a nice mic and everything set up but then that would take away from everything that I'm trying to do I'd be I'd be worried about the sound as opposed to just driving the car and enjoying it I really don't think I need to give you the best sounding deal let the car pick up the ambient noise let the phone pick up the ambient noise let me just enjoy the car for a fucking while Jesus Christ Okay, turned off traction control, but not too much. I didn't turn off advanced rank in case it was HC. motherfucker it has a lot of torque a lot of torque I am saying more than you'll need and the pull feels infinite it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling now smaller turbos are gonna limit you in your peak horsepower but when it comes to getting them to spool fast and feeling that instant torque that's where the fun is in my opinion that's where these cars absolutely shine now if anyone has driven a, driven a GT350 you know that they have no torque the other thing I noticed that these little turbos in fifth gear, I'm just driving and I go up a hill, you just give it gas, and it's like the hand of God going, here you go buddy, go up the hill, it doesn't have to rev really high, it pushes nicely, it almost feels like it has a positive displacement blower because it has plenty of torque available. Once you lug it down, turbos come in and say, here's a little bit of air, it pushes you up the hill nicely, so you don't constantly have to rev this thing out. It's a nice feeling having this size turbo and this size combination 
not trying to go for horsepower records and it drives really nice. It's a nice car, dude. You could drive this thing every day. Twin turbo car, great drivability. Sounds good. 700 plus on pump gas. everything he's got you need a 700 to 800 rear wheel horsepower gt350 plain and simple it is addicting addicting to have a car that handles stops and has the general i don't know it's very predictable meaning you do not feel out of control in this car because you have such great brakes such great suspension and it is comfortable tech package engineered really well nothing gt350s need nothing but power maybe a transmission if this guy decides to blow up but i just did a one two three at 8200 rpm and it did it like nothing okay, so that concludes my day i was going to take the gt350 out for one more drive but we just installed the boost controller in it uh it's an e-boost i believe not a boost leash or anything but it's an e-boost right here so the boost controller allowed us to up the boost a little bit and once we went to 10 psi the clutch went see you later so now this car is going to need a clutch which is the weak link on these cars is the transmission and the clutch setup you smoked the clutch right brandon you smoked it yeah he smoked it Ten. yeah anyway he did a fourth gear watt at 10 psi and the clutch went fucking see you later so the clutch is done it's going to get a mcleod or a mantic i believe it's going to be a mcleod going to be put put on locally and he's going to go ahead and have some fun with it because that is kind of the weak link on these cars is the transmission and the clutch setup next time i'm around which will be about a month from now i'm going to try to see if this guy is going to get uh driven maybe dyno it got a even different uh blower than it had last time not just a gen 3 r it's like a gen 3 r r r r r r r r r r okay that'll be it for me from Pennsylvania. Hopefully we'll see this guy up and rolling again with a new clutch. Just want to show you what a twin turbo GT350 drives like, sounds like, and feels like. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.